Hi, this is Mr. Knowles, and this video is just showing you some examples of long division with one-digit divisors. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So my problem is 985 divided by the number 5. I personally encourage my students to use graph paper for problems like this. It keeps everything organized in columns and in rows and it reduces the chances for students to accidentally put uh, part, put their work in the wrong location of the problem. Uh, it's real simple to do, especially just on plain paper. So I really highly encourage you to use graph paper. I'd like to insist it, but I can't. So if you're doing this at home or want to do problems like this at home, please, by all means, get some graph paper from me, or you can go ahead and find it online. It's pretty easy. And print some off in your printer or go buy some at the store. I also encourage you to get a little scrap piece of paper or maybe a little post-it note or note card and be able with that piece of paper or note card to cover up the other numbers that are in the dividend because it makes uh, life a lot easier. It makes it for those students that get overwhelmed by seeing a lot of numbers on a paper you can easily cover them up and reduces that whatever that feeling is of that overwhelming feeling of all those big numbers making it rather simple. So let's get started. I have 985 divided by 5. I'm going to cover that up. And now it looks like it's just 9 divided by 5. What I would encourage you to do is make a multiplication menu or multiplication facts of your 5s. You probably know them really well because 5 is rather easy for most people. You don't have to do all of them, but just do a few. If you want to do all of them, that might be wise. It doesn't take long. It's a great review for knowing your multiplication facts. So, and you got to ask yourself, 5 times what? is close to 9 without going over. Going over 9, that is. Might sound familiar to the price is right. Don't, you can't go over the number, to, but getting as close as possible. It's a game show that maybe your parents or grandparents used to watch a while ago. So which one is it? 5 times 1 is the closest one without going over 9. So 1, I put up there, times 5 is 5. And I'm going to subtract. I got 4. What's nice is I can just take my post-it note or note card or a little piece of paper, shift over one place value, and what I'm going to do is bring the next one down and add it to that. Now I have 48. And then I ask myself, how many 5's go into 48? Not quite sure. But I know 5 times 9 is 45. That's really close. But I'm going to just do one more, a little higher. 5 times 50, that's too big. So I want 5 times 9. So I put my 9 up here. 9 times 5 is 45. I subtract 3 and move my card over one place value, and I bring the next number or digit down, all the way down there to 5, 35, and I know that 5 times 7 is 35, so I just got to put a 7 up here, 7 times 5 is 35, nothing, no remainder, so the answer to my problem is 197. Right there. Let's do at least one more, maybe two. I have 804 divided by 6. So I'm going to set this up. I'm going to move this, cover those up. So I just have an 8. I'm going to do a couple of 
facts of my sixes. Or I like to call it a multiplication menu, just on the side. It might be helpful just to have it. Doesn't hurt. Six times one goes into, or six times one is six. It's the closest thing I can get to eight without going over. 8 minus 6 is 2. And then you move this over 1, place value. You bring that number down and you add it. You connect it with the 2. It becomes 20. And now I look at my multiplication menu on the left and I find that 6 times 3 equals 18. That's the closest to 20 without going over. So I'm going to just write 18 right there. I'm going to subtract. I'm left with 2, it looks like. I'm going to move this over another place value, and I'm going to bring the 4 down, add it to the 24. I'm going to need a little more room. 8, no, I mean 6 times 4 is 24. Oops, I forgot to do one thing. From the one before, I forgot to put my 3 up there. Sorry about that. 6 times 4 is 24. So I put the 4 up here. 4 times 6 is 24. So I subtract, I'm left with 0. So the answer to this problem is 134. I think I have time for one more. That one might went a little quick, but maybe if I do one more, it will be helpful. All right, I have 8,454 divided by 3. That's where this is helpful, because I can move my little note card over or a piece of paper. Then it doesn't look so overwhelming. I'll quickly build some multiplication facts of 3. I find it helpful to have a menu on the side. Do one more here. If I need more, I can always do more in a minute. How many threes going to eight? I quickly look to the left. Three times three is too big because that's nine. So three times two will work. So I put the two up here. And 2 times 3 is 6. I subtract, I get 2. I move this over one place value. I bring down the 4. How many 3s go in the 24? I know that, but maybe you don't. I'm going to just build this a little bigger. See how close I can get to... 24 without going over. Hey, look at that. It's 3 times 8. It's exactly 24. So I'm going to put an 8 up here. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 minus 24 is 0. And the process is the same. Move over a place value. you got to bring the 5 down. 5 comes down. And how many 3's go into 5? It's just 3 times a 1. So I'm going to put a 1 up here. 1 times 3 is 3. I'm going to subtract. Ooh, need more room on my paper. 5 minus 3 is 2. Look up above. We're going to move this over another place value. Hey, look, there's one more number to bring down. Because this was a something that had thousands in it, right? Thousands place. Four. We did this before. Three times eight is 24. Mm -hmm. We're not going to have a remainder. So I'm going to put a, a four up here. Four times three is 24. So I'm going to look 
down there, write it below, subtract, I have no remainder, it's zero. So up above, quick do, do I have any more numbers? Nope, done. So the answer to 8,454 divided by 3 is 2,814. Please put commas in there if you need to. I appreciate that. And that's my final answer. I hope this was helpful to you. Take care and ask any questions if needed.